I'm Dr. Joel Furman, and this year, I hope you decide to give yourself the ultimate gift of good health, of reversing heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, autoimmune disorders, and finally losing the weight that prevents you from living your life to the fullest. Diets simply don't work, and many people put their overall health at risk in their quest to lose weight. Susan is a great example of how taking a different path can bring incredible change and incredible health. A little over three years ago, I weighed 380 pounds. I was diagnosed with diabetes, taking medication at that time for high blood pressure. And I wondered every day if this would be my last. I finally went over to the bookshelf and got my Eat to Live book off the shelf and decided to give it another chance. As I started to eat this nutritarian way, even though I was still carrying quite a bit of weight, I was still able to get up and move. And in six months, I had lost 120 pounds. I have now lost 220 pounds. I do not have diabetes. I do not take any medication. Dr. Furman has saved my life. Dr. Furman has saved my marriage. Um, Dr. Furman has saved my kids from not having their own. And we do a lot. We hike, I go cycling, I go to the gym with my kids, and I'm participating in my life. I had a terrible food addiction, and I had terrible cravings and I don't have them anymore. Salad tastes so good. And the recipes are, they just give you another way to cook food that's already really great to begin with. One common concern I often hear is what do I do over the holidays when there are endless feasts and temptations? I'm all for having fun, but this doesn't mean you have to feel sick after dinner. Or worse, use the holidays as an excuse to give up on yourself and gorge. Let's have a look at a healthy and delicious holiday recipe from my Eat to Live cookbook, Thanksgiving non-meatloaf. Let's start by water sauteing some vegetables. I'm gonna add some water to a pot, add the onions and celery. Let that cook for a minute. Okay, that's cooking nicely. I'm adding in a whole bowl of chopped mushrooms now with their powerful anti-cancer effects. Now I'm gonna add some spices, some sage, some chopped basil, a tablespoon of veggie zest, and a tablespoon of, of tomato zest, and I'm going to add a teaspoon full of spike. These are mixed herbal seasoning mixes. Mix that around. Just going to lower the heat a little on that. Okay, and while that's simmering, I'm going to blend the blender, to the tofu, Little, little bit of Bragg's aminos, some arrowroot powder, and walnuts. Blend it up a bit. Great. Now I'm going to mix that all together now with the, my cooked veggies that are done by now. Mix that in this mixing bowl. in that tofu mixture from the blender. Okay, now add the whole wheat breadcrumbs and some cooked brown rice and mix that up. This is a, veg a vegan dish, so if, if we're all trying to reduce our intake of animal products for better health, and a great way to do it is with a delicious tasting non-meatloaf like this. Okay, now it's all mixed out. I'm gonna just put a drop of olive oil on the bottom of the pan to prevent sticking. And now I'm gonna spoon this right into that pan. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in the oven to bake at 350 for an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, I'm taking this out of the oven after about an hour. I'm gonna to mix together some tomato sauce or tomato paste, a little healthy ketchup, layer it right on top and put it back in the oven to bake for another 10 minutes. This is a delicious weight loss inducing main dish that you can eat any day. And here's another wonderful dish that fits right into any feast, acorn squash supreme. And of course, at every holiday, you have to have a delicious ice cream like this banana walnut ice cream. By limiting animal products and letting vegetables take center stage of your holiday meal, you can enjoy big portions and not gain weight. Here's a health tip. 
With the right food, you not only reverse life-threatening diseases and protect yourself from dementia, but you maintain a happier outlook on life in your later years.